Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Let It Die. I'm in the store right now, so I don't have to go through a couple of loading beetles to show off what I'm planning to do in this episode. So on the previous one, we reached floor 31 and dealt with Crowley in a couple of ways. Showed off some rolls, well, shown off a bunch of roll fours, which were series 12 rolls. Um, I checked my friend list online and suck this down probably didn't send his fighter after me it was just selected by the game and sent to me because he'd been offline for the last I think few days so he couldn't have sent that uh, hunter after me it was the game actively picking one of his fighters and sending it to me and that is roll four where someone in your friend list is randomly a random fighter from your friend lists roster is picked and sent as a, a hunter to you with no restrictions at all so a six star yeah there you go balanced down they're level 51 but still white steel armor uh, bowling crusher yeah not gonna end well anyway for this episode the plan is to show off some uh, farming spots in Candlewolf area or you know just talking about farming materials in Candlewolf like we haven't reached floor 27 yet uh, that's not going to be the next episode I'm going to venture into 30 plus before making an episode about the the 27 floor store I mean I could record it tomorrow and then upload it before the 30 plus exploration uh, I might do that yeah so my view would have to wait for two episodes to see floor 30 plus uh, yeah I'll be doing it like that so the next episode is going to be about floor 27 uh, shop just to have an episode about it because I don't think I've visited it at all yet during this let's play and it's kind of an important it's an important thing to talk about uh, da -da 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 -da. So yeah, I'll, I've been in the mood and in the mindset to farm this weapon up a little bit, try and upgrade it some. So I'll be trying to get those materials. The war black is going to be the toughest. Bone might also. But uh, the massive iron and aluminium engine parts, I'll be showing off where to get like basic found floor materials in this one, in uh, Candlewolf area. Mm, yeah, I might have gone over a few upgrades last few episodes, so I'm not going to get into these now, but massive iron is indeed required for a lot of things. I'll show a couple of floors I'd go to to get those. Also, aluminium engine part. Wait, did I need to purchase something from you? I don't remember. I think I've already bought it. So we've already set up this fighter to leave, so let's go. Let's go do stuff. This will be the fastest start to any episode. <laughs> uh, except for the, like, already mid-floors interrupted uh, episodes. So we'll be heading to Shinkobashi. No, no, not Shinkobashi, uh, Kani. Kani is a large floor with all materials. So you don't have to worry about finding a lower grade or a higher grade of material than you're looking for. And uh, yeah, it's got many material spawn points. It's one of my favorite Candlewolf material farming uh, floors. Now, another option would be climbing to or taking the escalator uh, elevator to Akami and climbing from Akami to Etches and Jima through Kawabe. Akami doesn't have many material spawns on it that I know of. In fact, they may only have like one. Uh, but... Wait. I don't know. I forget. Anyway, uh, Akami is a good floor to find mushrooms. You'll often find some useful candlewolf type mushrooms. Then you climb up through Kawabe. Kawabe is a mixed material floors with a uh, a small number of floor uh, spawns, like four or five or something, not not too bad. 
and uh, mixed material as well. Plus it has the golden golden chests room spawning. Then you'll move up to Edges and Jima. Not exactly sure what type of materials is up there. I forget. But you've got the boss with the uh, Candle Wolf Black and you can take that elevator back to the waiting room and then rinse and repeat. So that's kind of like an just kind of any type of item farming. It's like you'll have some some black metals, some mushrooms, some materials. That's a bit of an all-rounder route going from 21 to 23. Uh, also, there'll be a lot of cloth in a room uh, on Edges and Jima. There's a two-floor, uh, a two-tiered floor <laughs> room in uh, in Edges and Jima that has cloth. Uh, Kani. Um, Kani is my first choice, actually, if you're just after materials and not black metals. Because Kani is a big floor, a lot of materials, and it's connected to multiple single material floors. So as we're climbing the elevator, I'll talk about that. So I've written it down here. Kani is connected to Oshimi, a boss floor with copper type only. It's connected to uh, Shimi Meno, which is an oil type only floor. It doesn't have many spawn points, but uh, yeah, if you're looking for oil, you can follow Kani to that floor. It's connected to Sumikyo, which is an iron type only floor. So if you're farming copper, oil or iron, uh, go to Sh uh, Kani, 25th floor, and follow to the next floor with a single material type of any of those three types of material. And that's a good, uh, well, it's, it's a decent way of finding materials like this. Um, Candlewolf is a, a difficult area to find anything because of how big the floors are. There are other single material type floors. Uh, Honkawa, let me quickly check my reference list. Mm, Honkawa is aluminium only, floor 23. Do, do, do. Have I gotten Moriba written down here? Moriba might be iron only. I'm not exactly sure, but I think it's not the greatest because it's a short floor. Hmm. Other notable floors. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, there's a lot of rotating floors which have like single materials. I haven't written all of those down. Uh, Oe, Oe is aluminium only. Where's Oe? We may not have it unlocked yet. Can't see it anywhere. It might be a floor that we haven't found yet. Otobashi is iron only. That might be a rotating floor. I know Hashidaka is also iron only. So if you're looking for massive iron, Hashidaka might have you covered. But then the problem with the single material floors sometimes is that you'll find lower or higher grade than you're looking for. If you find iron, great, but if you find uh, if you find metal scraps, uh, iron scraps, I should say, then that's unfortunate. Copper wire mountain, our first piece of material for this floor. So yeah, we're mainly searching for massive iron on this run. Hmm. Also, I picked up a bunch of tactical shovels to level that weapon up a little bit. We're on the striker and not the collector because I want to kill the enemies we come across quickly. And not have to hit them 500 times. Yeah, I hate getting hit by unarmed. Just the idea of knowing that they're doing nothing to you but they still are breaking your armor. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, the shovel does uh, slashing damage, which makes sense. It could also do blunt damage. 
It would be cool if they had uh, split damage type weapons in the game. I guess they do. Um, <laughs> what am I saying? Blonk. But uh, I could see a logic behind the shovel doing both slashing and blunt damage. Like if you hit them with the uh, the blade part, you do slashing damage. But if you hit them with the the flat end, you hit uh, blunt damage. Cat eye always useful. Almost halfway through our season quest, it wouldn't surprise me if I would not get those done in time. How's that happened last time? Hold on. You. I need you. What is that I'm hearing? Is that a beehive? Oh man. All these uh, beast noises make you paranoid. Not seeing anything. Oh god, wasting time. Okay, carry on. Yeah, my collectors are definitely better for these zones when it comes to endurance with their high stamina. Oh, damn you. A good zone to level up weapons would be uh, more ensemble, I'd say. There's a lot of enemies and especially the further you get in the game, when you start doing more damage, there's a whole bunch of enemies and they're all not terribly resistant to your attacks. So I think that's a pretty good middle ground to farm weapon experience. Might even be better than the lower floors. Bam. Okay, that makes sense. This is such a brutal weapon. As usual with these floors, you want to get acquainted with them, run through them many times and find out where the materials can spawn. How dare you! They tend to be in the same spot. Like, there's a material spawn point here, there's a spawn point over here, there's a beast spawn over there, on top of this little mountain. Sometimes find something here. Then, uh, yeah, this one we didn't pick up. I don't know if I need this, and I'll take it. Whatever. I might end up dropping it later if we find more massive iron. And then you had that one spawn point over there behind the fence with the scratch tubers. So this this room in general is a really good material room, and part of the reason I choose Kani to search for. Uh, candle of materials. Run all the way to the end when you've got these dead ends, so when you open the map you can tell where it's going. That's actually a floor that I'm going to be exploring. Just checking, how much did we clear? Yeah, we cleared a decent amount of screamers. If we were right next to the elevator I'd say, yeah, I'm going to already go to that floor, but then we'd have to clear everything we've already cleared so far. had a bit of lag there. Hope the mic didn't cut out too much. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it now. Bam. More weapon experience. This weapon don't have a, doesn't have a combo that I know of. If memory serves. <laughs> Do we have the charge attack yet? Uh, R1? Ooh, hey! <laughs> We've got the R1. And I forgot what that was. Is that spin to win? Actually, don't die. I need you alive. Healing item.
I'm gonna be keeping hold of beasts for a while to heal on the bosses. Damn. Poison me. Hey. Okay. Ooh. Oh, ready. And our weapon is leveling up nicely, getting those attack bonuses. I love how you get a free hit on screamers when they first become aware of you. Okay, terrible material type. I'm finding a lot of that uh, uh, rosewood. Excuse me. <laughs> Counter critical. Copper wire mountain, I'll pick that up. Not sure if I need it, but I've got it. Leaving the rosewood. I didn't check which t materials I had a lot of before coming here. Ooh. Lucky star. Oh boy, I've got you in a... Yeah, I've got you in a dangerous health range. Don't want to have him in bull range. So I'm going to deal with him as such. That's Mooney S. Whoa, okay. How much damage does that have? Pl a thousand plus. Yeah, he could have absolutely ruined our day if he wanted to. And that's a, a smart build actually having a Raging Bull combined with Living on the Edge. I'm just gonna throw that away. Don't care, don't care about that weapon. Yeah, that's a smart build for PvP or TDM or just trolling reefing <laughs> the uh, raging bull or bull or bull plus raging bull plus living on the edge yeah very dangerous okay just exploring the floor completely and considering we've got two sprinter decals premium and non-premium we'll be wanting to run through our whole stamina bar and then just being out of breath and recovering from out of breath. Shimi Meno, the oil type floor. I guess you'd head there if you wanted... Uh, what is that called? That called? Uh, I don't know what the candle wolf grade of oil is called. It's uh, skipping my brain right now. Uh, forwards and then turning left at the end. You'd also just ignore the other floors and go just to this one and pick up the materials because as I said earlier you're guaranteed to have the proper grade of material spawn on the mixed material floors because it's only the single material floors that spawn dif the uh, different grades of rarity for that type of material. On a positive, you can get the higher grade and get uh, upgrade weapons earlier than you otherwise would be able to. Yoga... do I want? I don't know. I'll leave it. Using the super alloy. 20% extra damage on enemies which are above 70% health or just like full health. Cotton. Unfortunate. Oh, come on. Come on, then. Mm, nice. Amazing. Super Alloy is a good decal to clear floors with. If you're not going for bosses but you're farming floors, this is a good farming decal. Actually this build up what is pretty good for farming. Sprinter for getting through the floor quickly and super alloy 
for dealing 20% extra damage with any weapon, any weapon type, just considering that the enemy is full health. But then most of the time you'll you'll be trying to one-shot all the screamers anyway, so if it takes you two hits, it takes you two hits, but you will get a lot of one-shot action going on. Your first attack dealing 20% extra damage. So we ran through the corridors here, which also have materials in them. This time we weren't lucky. Bad material types, uh, cloth. Uh, whatever. So we'll be heading to uh, right and then right again, going down. I'm just going to check my list, what I've got here. Hmm. Oshimi is a copper only floor. Yeah, we got that one. Hmm. Oh yeah, another important one. Oh yeah! Actually, it looks like Kani is connected to four single material floors. Which is really interesting. Uh, Agasu is wood only. So yeah, this is a great kind of wolf material farming spot. You'll head out to Kani and have a nice collection of every type of material. And then it's connected to those four floors with a single material type. Of course, Shimi Menu, for some reason, is not great for oil. It has fewer spawns than the other floors, unfortunately. And yeah, if you're not at this point in the game yet, or if you're not at this floor yet, then Akami, Kawabi, Etches and Jima, that short route is pretty good for just about anything. You'll find beast mushrooms, materials, and of course the black metal types. So that can be a beneficial route to use early on in your candle wolf uh, career. Definitely not making this episode into two parts. Definitely gonna just uh, see how far we get in Sumikyo and then that'll be it. Again, don't recommend using the shops in Candle Wolf unless you've got the guaranteed shop day with floor 27, which we're gonna look into in the next episode, I'm guessing, which I'll be recording tomorrow, but yeah, I have to remember to upload it before the one I'm gonna record next which will be the Floor 30 Plus Exploration. Hmm. So someone's attacking me. They better not be overpowered. Getting a bit tired of that nonsense. Hey, buddy. That's too cruel. What else have we got? Do -do 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 -do. All kinds of stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and equip the drill arm, just in case. Poof. Quick and painless. Where are we going? Hmm. Buddy? <laughs> Did a beast just run into the fire? No, I don't think so. Pick up you, why not? Life room, always useful. Blueprint, don't care. Thousand kill coins, uh, salt, blueprint. Aha! This might be the only room on this floor with materials in it. How dare you! Break armor! Oh shit, there's two of them. I don't want to spin to win. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Nice one.
Okay, so the material can spawn around here, maybe, I don't know, maybe this room is slightly different than the one where the material spawns here. It could be here, in this corner, or it could be a beast. Could be up here, material spawn. In this flower pot is another possible spawn point for material. Ready? Where are we going? Hmm. Materials, where are you? Yeah, there's possibly here also a material spawn point. And maybe on the, the other side too, somewhere. There's definitely somewhere a material spawning in the ground, uh, in the water here. I'm not seeing many materials. Excuse me, there might be a material up here as well in that central area, but not sure. Well, bugger. And we're running late on the episode. Whew. Okay, there's nothing there. I'm not going to run through all the way, I'm just going to remember that I've been there. Whee. Oh yeah, apparently there's a spawn point here too. Luckily we find massive iron, it could also be a lower or higher grade. It can be higher by one grade of uh, rarity and it can be lower by two grades. So you can find iron scraps. Um, massive iron, wire mountain, or steel. Now we shouldn't be too worried about steel because we've got access to plus now. Excuse me. Oh. There we go. Hey, Bam. Hmm. Oh boy. I don't know. I don't know about this shroom. Cat eye shroom. Hmm. What could I replace it with? Hmm. I guess the grilled red stink shroom. Not sure where the materials are hiding. Last time I found how much materials here? Two, two bits, maybe three. There's one more place we haven't been yet. Gotta hurry. Oh yeah, damn. That's right. Whew. We didn't find it. There is a maze on this floor. Without materials in it. I'm not sure. Are there materials on in this room? Beast. Another beast. Whoa, watch out. Treasure. Oh, come on. Nope. <laughs> Already got those. I found an OG fish swimming around here last time. Whoa, watch out. <laughs> yeah, we're, ra we're out of time. So this floor wasn't that efficient for us. Well, we did find one mass of iron and a bunch of other stuff. But in any case, I've uh, I've named a lot of floors for single material. Uh, Kani, good all-round floor, connected to f four different types of single material floors. Good stuff. That's your candlewall farming spot. So, uh, I guess the next episode will be about something else. Wait, material. Ah, I see, it's mass of iron. Or, hmm. Anyway, uh, take care guys, see you in the next episode.